Hello everyone, welcome to Dota 2 Cast, my name is Alamon and I hope you enjoyed this game. Uh, this was submitted to me on Reddit, so I'm really happy because I was asking for games and someone gave me a, a game. So let's look at the two teams, we have Are You A Good Player on the Timber Saw, we have Wind Rage being played by Devilish, Mirana on the uh, being played by the Anti Peru, Phantom Lancer by Crasher, we have Urshaker being played by Silverback. On the Dire side we have Anthony5356 on the Huskar, we have MXD Saitam on the Legion Command going for level 1 plus the attack. Uh, Lich being played by Bunchakalis. Lena on the Delta John. Uh, oh, looks like she might actually be in a bad position. She is actually stuck. Del Delta, no? They decided not to kill her, which is. They would go for the bounty rune rather than the kill. Alright. Ahmed being played by Delta Stu or something. I'm not really sure exactly what, he's, what his name is. So looking at the Radiant side, it looks like Timbersaw is going to go for level 1 Whirling Death. And Lich actually choosing to take Frostblast level 1 rather than Sacrifice. Sacrifice could help you win the lane by denying a couple of creeps. Uh, but guess not. Is Lich even here? I'm not really sure if he is or not. But against a Mirana and as well as a Timbersaw, I feel like Sacrifice would have been the better skill if he is even here. Well, we don't know that. Legion Commander looks like she's going to go jungling. If you're going to go jungling with Legion Commander, usually you take a moment of courage level 1. At least that's how I know it's being played, but eh, well, doesn't matter. Bomb is going to be the Huskar and Omnite. This is going to be a pretty strong lane because anytime Huskar does damage, he can just get healed up. And look, Lich is AFK, actually. And that's it. He's just going to fall. Alright, first blood goes up to the Radiant side. The Timbersaw almost dying, but it gets a good salve up in the last second. But yeah, bottom lane should be where the tire side are strong. They are up against a Earthshaker and a Phantom Lance. Phantom Lance are probably pretty difficult to kill, but Earthshaker, if they can get a bit close to him, should be alright. Looks like he's also going to go for Soul Ring, which is a great item for the Army Knight. Takes a Repel, so it's going to keep the um, Huskar pretty much magic immune. I mean, Huskar is kind of magic immune thanks to Berserker's Blood, although area levels may be a bit of a problem. Uh, PL takes a few bur three burning spears, that's actually quite a lot of damage. Mid lane is going to be the Alina against Wind Ranger. We've seen this matchup quite a few times. Uh, not really sure, it doesn't really favor one player over another, but right now it's favor definitely favoring the, the Wind Ranger as Lina for some reason kind of huddles in the trees while Wind Ranger gets all the CS. Okay. Dire heroes seem to just kind of drift in and out of the game. Lina's kind of like, alright, that's, that's kind of it for her. Top lane. Uh, looks like Legion Commander might need one. Nope, no, more than one hour. One hour is not going to be enough, and she's actually going to survive. Uh, arrow does come out from the Mirana, and looks like Mirana uh, takes a few damage, but it's not going to be enough to actually get the kill. Looks like uh, Frost Blast is there, but Anti Peru is still alive. Mirana Bottle, what's happening here? Looks like, again, Phantom Lust is going to take a couple of spears. Uh, Earthshaker stunning him, but it doesn't really matter too much against the Huskar, who has a lot of magic, um, magic uh, resistance. Top lane. Lich, looks like he's going to go for the Tranquil Boost, that's a pretty good item to get on him. Looks like Soul Ring is available on the army so he can spam out his healing as much as he wants. Uh, look, um, Lina's been here for, wait, well, top lane, do we have an engagement? Uh, looks like Mirana's getting kind of low, but not enough. Yeah, Lina's just kind of been here the whole time doing nothing. She's just kind of sitting here. Alright. Wind Ranger, 12 and 4 to the 2 and 0 from Lina. I'm not really sure. Oh, there, hey, there she goes. Movement. We have life. We have life. Uh, oh, and it's good that we have life because Wind Ranger's not even in the lane. She's actually gone bottom ruin, but yeah, she's she's really gone a lot of CS out of this. Huska bottom lane guess, has, has a bracer now, so it's going to be a bit more tank, tankable? Tanky? Yeah, I'm not really sure how you, how you describe it. How's Armin doing? Yeah, getting, getting some CS actually. Could spam out his heal if he wanted to, but it doesn't really need to. Since, you know, you, you heal more than you lose from a soul ring and costs less than the soul ring mana, so you'll be fine if you spam it. But you shouldn't do it if you're Omnite. Uh, sorry, if your Huskar's right here. The weirdest lane for me is actually is still going to be top lane. This Lich against the Timbersaw Mirana dude lane. That's not something you see very often. And Legion Commander is supposed to be jungling, but she's not really sure if she's jungling. Very confusing. If she's going to go lane, she should, you know, maybe get a couple of points in overwhelming odds, that would be kind of useful. Uh, PL taking... Yeah, it's, ha it's been a pretty tough lane for PL. I mean, he has, n he has 9 CS, so he's not that far in CS, but it feels like he's always taking uh, quite a few spears from this hus from this Huskar. Oh, top lane. Oh, sorry, mid lane. Uh, nope, Lina, not really do... Not, nothing really coming out of that. 
Legion Commander doesn't feel like she's do getting much out of the lane. I mean, she it's nice that she's here and trying, but it doesn't feel like she's actually contributing much to the lane itself. Also, Dyer have only the normal courier, while Radiant have the flying courier, so that's a, that makes a difference. Timbersaw. Shockingly, not taking any points in Timber Chain, preferring to take more points in Reactive Armor. Does help against the harass damage a little, but it's not the most amazing thing in the world, really. Bombus looks like it's going to be a tri lane for now. Lina is here. Lina rotations, kinda not the best. Oh, wait, did you come and actually falls? Let's, wait, wait, wait. Let's go see what happened there. Uh, the Timber Saw. Does she have overwhelming odds? Yeah, overwhelming odds. Pretty strong with Frost Blast. Yep, level 3 Frost Blast. Overwhelming odds. Just gonna burst her, burst them down. But yeah, Wind Ranger gets to kind of free farm mid. She only has 18 CS at 5 minutes, which is not that great considering that she's kind of been alone for most of the most of the time. But it's worse than the Lina, who only has 5 CS. Who's, that's 1 CS a minute, by the way. Great on a mid laner. And she's just kind of here, not really doing much for... I mean, it would be, it's okay, oh, okay, pure, uh, light, light strike array actually lands, PL, oh, the heal misses, can they get him, I uh, don't, do I, might actually burn, nah, it's, it's unlikely he's gonna burn, Lin actually taking quite a few hits here, is she gonna be okay, she needs a uh, purification, purification, she does come out, and meanwhile, Wind Ranger just continuing mid lane, it's not like she's actually getting all the CS either, but she's doing better than the Lina, which is kind of all you really need. If everyone's doing better than their counterpart on the other team, then you're basically winning, aren't you? And XP is not that much in Radiant's favor. Gold is actually in Dyer's favor by a bit, but I think it's because of that kill they just got recently. Lena taking on. Uh, how's top lane doing? Timbersaw, no timber chain, so he really has no escape mechanism if they catch him out. Uh, but should be relatively okay. Two points in the moment of courage coming out from Legion Commander. Not that great if you if you're trying to get kills because you can get so much more damage out of overwhelming odds, but she doesn't really want it. And Timbersaw makes it out of life. I don't think they would have killed him even if they had. Unless they maybe had that maxed out overwhelming odds, but even then, it feels like eh, that's too much. Tri lane bottom really not working out. I mean, there's a problem with tri laning. In the mid lane, Windrage is getting solo experience and gold, and Lina's getting is sharing her experience and gold with th two other heroes. So they they lose a big resource by doing that. Also, Radiant are actually warding. They have a ward here. I notice this. Do they have any other ward on the map? I don't think so. Still, the Dire are at least get pushing this tower, which is something for them. Uh, Radiant mid, mid tower, not. Eh, it's about half life. Hmm. What's Huskar gonna go for? Actually, I saved up quite a bit of gold. Be interesting to see what they make up. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I missed another kill. Ah, oh, damn. I feel... Ah, well, amateur casting. <coughs> hey, Lich actually misses his uh, bolt, but it's not. But it doesn't matter. He gets the kill anyway with the auto attack. Yeah, he missed his frost blast, but he hit a creep instead. But it doesn't matter. In the end, he got the kill. Mm. Frost blast, how much does he do at level? It does about 100, uh, 275 damage. Uh, so, yeah, roughly the same damage as a one bounce from his chain frost. And Lich is going to go for a Null Talisman. Is it going to be some sort of Dagon build? I don't really think so, but it might be. You never actually know. There's quite a lot of magic damage on the Radiant side, so Huskar is going to be going to have a pretty good game. The only person who might give him some trouble is the Timbersaw, Timbersaw with Whirling Death, which can deal pure damage if he's next to trees. So as long as he's away from trees, he'll be fine. Lena farming mid. Still, the CS, her CS is actually... I mean, it's bad, but... Could be a lot worse. She does have her Laguna Blade. This game is supposed to be there's supposed to be some sort of feeder here, so I'm wait I'm still waiting who it is because I haven't actually noticed who's the feeder yet. I mean, I'm not gonna buy some more. Deny actually comes out from the Earthshaker. Very nicely done. Uh, it's kind of not that hard to deny with Earthshaker because he does have the Enchant Tome, which gives him a ton of extra damage. So it's good that he was able to get it. Timber saw. Yeah, has the arcane boots, so I expect we might see a bloodstone because arcane boots, you know, he disassembled. Ooh, beautiful arrow comes out mid, and she's dead. J Delta John not doing so well. No boots, straight up void stone. Now that is interesting. I suppose she wants to rush the Yule scepter, and rushing Yule scepter does give you some movement speed. But until then, I mean, eh, boots aren't really that expensive. They're like what, 450 gold. Urn comes out on the Earthshaker. I really like this item. Uh, you do kind of need some base mana with for the Earthshaker, but 
at least he is able to if he gets a kill he can use those earned charges which are re really good for both healing and damage and I feel like it's a really good item that he picked up earned Auslich has the ward looks like he's gonna be the one who's going to go for the mechanism on his team definitely could use it could consider spamming out the sacrifice a bit more every creep that you sacrifice is less gold and experience for your enemy team so the fact that it's off cooldown it's level 3 you, know, you could use it a bit more uh, Miran's here can she thread the needle Oh wow, he walks into it. Oh dear, Repel comes out. He does. He can use his ultimate, but looks like he doesn't need to. He maybe heal yourself. Heal yourself. Army Knight's way taking a bit of time. He really needs to throw out that heal on himself. Good heal coming out, and that's going to go on the uh, sorry. Whoa, Earthshaker's getting jumped on. Looks like Huskar might be in a bit of trouble. Nope, Earthshaker's not going to make it out alive. Three people rotation. They still and they still were felt like that. Oh, very unfortunate for them. And he earned it. Ha! <laughs> the pun. I get it. I get it. Well, hey, Uncivil. Welcome to the stream. All right, Legion Commander, really going for this weird hybrid build. I don't. Uh, looks like she's rushing Blink Dagger. Actually, pretty close to it. If she can get it by like I don't know, 11, 12 minutes, that's not so bad for her. Cause she won't have anything else to add. Oh dear, looks like Timber Saw going in for this. Uh, might be Duel does come out. Do throw out the Chain Frost. Will they be able to get it? Oh no, they don't get the extra damage. But ah well, good try. Still, they got the kill. Almost got the dual victory. They did have to expend uh, the chain frost for it, which is kind of going to reduce their uh, team fight potential. But eh, it's not so bad, I really. Mid lane so far has kind of been abandoned by the dire set, but maybe maybe Omnite could do something about top lane. Will we have engagement here? Mirana is available. She's going for the max star storm build. So if you're going to support most people with max out arrow, but since she's going max star storm, it makes me feel like she wants to play more of a core style Mirana. Although her CS is only 10, so it's not the best, but we'll see. Bombing. Oh, wait. Mirana actually is able to... Oh, um, how she how she score this? I think that... I think... Wait, wait. Legion Commander. Yeah. Oh, one arrow. Another arrow comes out. Beautiful. The double arrow from the Wind Ranger as well as Mirana. Two long-range arrows shot in the back, basically. Poor Legion Commander. Nothing she can do about that one. How's Timbersaw doing? Still sticking with that no uh, no chain thing. Go and go for that soul ring. So it's definitely going to be a, a bloodstone build up for him. Uh, okay, Gun wants to go for it. Again, he see he has no method of actually closing the gap between them because he has no chain, uh, timber chain to go close. Oh, a shackle shot comes out. What? Oh, he, he throws out the repel. You should probably throw out the healing first. That's not a great heal. Can he get, can he get a kill on anyone? Lina? No Laguna Blade available. Might be able to get a... Oh. No, no, nothing's gonna happen. Looks like it's gonna be a lot of blows. Arrow walks into it. Lena, what are you doing? Oh dear. And Army Knight needs to be careful. Legion Commander is here. Shackle shot are out on her. The problem with with uh, Repel is that it doesn't actually uh, Repel doesn't actually remove debuffs. You can't and and prevents you from healing. Oh, Timber Sound. Beautiful work. Actually, just goes in, throws that Timber Chain, and he's gonna get dual T. Does give 10 damage to the Legion Command, so maybe not the most worth it wild kill, but... Oh dear, it looks like Wind Ranger might be in a bit of trouble. She doesn't have enough mana for anything, and the Legion Commander wants to go for it. Can she get anything? No, doesn't look like it. Hashtag this Timber. I don't actually think Timber did that bad. He got a kill. He d they, And remember, they are still creating space for the Phantom Lance bomb lane, who's been pretty much free farming. I think it's okay. I think it's okay that they, uh, that Timber died just now. It's not such a big deal. Alright, so Wind Ranger, eh, good items so far. I like her skill build, nothing too fancy here. She's saving up some gold. Uh, Agonims or Blink Dagger, looks like it might be a uh, Blink Dagger more, more likely. Uh, Mirana, looks like she's going to go for Power Treads next. At least I assume. Aquila, maxed out. She's going pure damage. She has a maxed out Star Storm. She's going for more Sacred Arrow. One point in the leap helps her out as well. Survive, so I like. I like her so far. She's two zero and two, so doing pretty well. Can she can she get a nice arrow here? Oh, there is a ward though, so it's not gonna be very easy. By the way, I'm surprised that Legion Commander died when there was a ward here spotting both arrows coming. But she's like, eh, I'm a lesbian. I can tank it. Phantom Lancer, how's he doing? He's doing okay. Nothing too fancy on, on him yet. Again, they could probably see her. Can they see her? I don't definitely they can see her just now. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Timbers, Timber saw might be a bit of a problem. Repel comes out. He needs to be. Uh, Omnite needs to keep his team alive. He needs to throw out that purification. Still saving his man, no problem. Uh, level three purification. Oh, if level four, it would be much better. But 
It'll be fine, it'll be fine. No big deal, no big deal. Alright. And what about Earthshaker? Earthshaker has earned. Doesn't have anything else yet. He's not even level 6. That's kind of a an issue for them. We're going to switch from last hits to net worth. And the, as I expect, PL is number 1. Net worth. Oh, Duel does come out. Can they get the kill though? And uh, will we get anything out of this? Oh, nope. Doesn't actually need to. I think she was good. She might have used her Laguna Blade. If she did, that would have been a huge waste. But they get the Timber Saw kill. No dual victory, but still get a kill. Too many people up here on the Radiant side. Feels like there's four people up here. And PL is just kind of split pushing the whole time. Doing his own thing. Bomb lane is kind of free as well. Maybe you could consider selling the Mirana because she wants to farm. What about Dire Heroes? Huskar. I feel like he's been here for some time. Am I wrong? Uh, oh, there we go. As, the soon, as soon as I say he's been there, he teleports to show me that he is actually conscious. And Lich looks like he was probably going to fall. Oh dear, unfortunate for him. Lina can say, oh, and finally, Laguna Blade comes out. Nice heal. Omni Knight, so honestly, easily the MVP in this game. And keeping his team alive. Good job by the Omni Knight. Uh, Legion Commander finally has her Blink Dagger, but for her right now, oh, it looks like she's also going to go for Omni. For her right now, blinking in is kind of scary. She's uh, just doesn't have that much damage. No items either. It's kind of scary for her to blink down, unless unless you use your duel at the last second to get a to get a kill, kill steal, which is very legit. It's very risky for her. Lich, I thought he was gonna go for a urn. Uh, sorry, not urn, but a mechanism. But it looks like he's actually gonna go for a veil of discord. Veil of discord, pretty decent this game. There's they have a decent amount of magic damage, so no big de no not a bad item if he gets it at all. Uh, especially because at the beginning Laguna Blade is magic damage. It does become pure later, but for now it's just going to be magic damage. That was Huskar. Oh, arrow comes out. Well, nope, misses at the very end. Huskar is also going to go. No, he's going to go for Helm of Dominator. I thought it was going to be an armor, but I was like, oh wait, he has the Morbid Mask. All right, I want a uh, chat. I want to make a bet with you guys. Who do you think that Huskar is going to go and dominate a creep? Personally. I think he's not. I think he's not going to dominate a creep. He's just going to use the Helm of Dominator. If most people get it. They don't dominate a creep. It becomes kind of, not worthless, but there's no point in really upgrading to Helm of Dominator. Oh, yeah. That's another excellent point uh, from the guy on Twitch. He, I think it's the guy who submitted the game. He's saying that Veil does reveal which one's the real uh, PL, and it does because it shows the, the debuff on him. So, very good point. I actually forgot about that. Thank you for telling me. How's Leah doing? Leah does have her Eels. Uh, like I said, Eels gives her 40 movement speed, so it's roughly the same as Boots, but I feel like she could have gotten so much if she had Boots by now. Alright. Anything gonna happen here? I mean, Legion Commander, she is diving hell deep for this. Shackle Shot comes out, latches, and wow, Mirana leaps backwards just so she can throw a long range arrow. Nice job by the Mirana. Very, just very good teamwork coming out. Uh, you, <laughs> you are the guys a bit. Alright. Let's see, Haskar has the Helm of Dominator. I'm still waiting to see if he's gonna if he's gonna get a creep or not. Wow, ultimate used on the Earthshaker Illusion. Why not? You know? Meanwhile, top lane, I feel like it's shocking when the Lich is doing so well. The net worth in this game is actually pretty close. I mean, from like the Lina, the top eight, I mean, well, all the top eight, they're out of ten. The, the first eight people are all re relatively this close enough to net worth that it's not really that big of a deal. Not 17 minutes, that's for sure. Omni Knight, so far my favorite player. Has the Arcane Boots, has the Soul Ring. Not much else on him. Looks like wards are coming out. This guy, I feel for him because he, he's a support player, you know. Going for more points in Repel going to be very useful. DJ and Arrow is good, but more points in Repel. Oh dear. And he, throws, he throws out the... Uh, the repel, but it's not going to be good enough to keep them alive. Huskar jumps in, and actually they do lose the Lina. And can he help anyone here? It looks like definitely Mirana is going to fall. Uh, could consider healing. Yep, he does heal his friend. They lose lose the Lina, but they got the kill on the the Mirana. Mirana has more net worth, so ah, worth it if you ask me. Timbersaw is in V, but actually it's not. It's the Mirana ultimate. Can they get this tower? They can get this tower. That'd be really good for them. One more hit. They do get the tower, but looks like it might cost them Huskar's life. Huskar is definitely going to fall. Or is he? He, yep, he looks like he's gonna fall. Omni Knight! Oh man, so close! And they're gonna ping him, but wait, I, they're gonna ping him. I'm pretty sure he was out of range. Uh, because you can see, alright, where is he? He's trying to get. He's trying, he's trying. Ah, see? He even lifted his, his hands. So it's unfair of them to ping him when it was like, it's not his fault. He, he did his best. But let's just make him feel bad. There we go. Yeah, you deserve that. Uh, feel good now? 
I was top lane doing, still trying to get that tower. This top tower has this top tower has been the center of, of action for like 20 minutes. Oh, chain frost does come out. Beautiful chain frost actually doing quite a lot of damage. And duel comes out. Save nope, not gonna be enough to save him because the tower is gonna get the kill. And Legion Commander does get it. Beautiful. Uh, I mean, well, they did lose the uh, Legion. They do lose the Legion Commander as well. Oh, so PL is the guy. All right. PL going for the Diffusal Blade. He already has the Boots of Travel. Hmm. Wind Ranger did fall. What is Wind Ranger going for? Looks like it's Agames because she has a Staff Wizardry and Blade of Alacrity. So it looks like it's going to be a Agames on her. Most people, though, usually get the Point Booster first because it's kind of like the best item. Miran, what's she going to go for? Blade of Alacrity. This could be anything. I mean, one thing he could improve on is that he uses Repel quite a lot. Oh, there we go. Veil is available on the Lich. Uh, or Echo Slime actually comes out solo on the Lina. Can they get anything out of this? Oh, dear. Lina's stuck between like four enemy heroes. Gets gang raped by them, if you ask me. Uh, nothing her team can do. I mean, I'm throwing out those Repels, but he could consider that throwing a Repel first thing in the fight is not really the best thing you want to do. And... How's Lich gonna do here? Lich threw out the veil. Uh, I mean, sorry, it has the veil. Nice ward coming out here from the Omni Knight. Yep, you can see this. This purplish effect reveals the real one. If you use it on PL, it will show the real one and it won't affect his illusions. And uh, if he, I don't know if it won't affect his illusions or not, but we'll have to wait and see. One thing though is that if PL does go fan diffuser blade, he could just purge it off. I think you can purge it off, but it's. Veil is an item I don't see a lot of, so it doesn't actually say if it can be purged off or not with Diffusal Blade. We'll have to find out later. Uh, meanwhile, PL just... I love the Boots of Travel pickup. He just goes from one area of the map to another, able to split push beautifully. And the Dire team, they're just sticking as f like four or five. They can't do anything, can they? Or at least they don't choose to do anything. Legion Commander is not so bad actually against the PL. Oh, Legion Commander jumps in, has the repel on her. Actually, having repel on her means that she can't be healed. And oh, nice! Gets the winner, and can she do. Can they get any more out of this? Uh, Wind Ranger trying to get out of there. No Echo Slam are available. And Legion Commander going camp, but no, nah, doesn't, doesn't need to. Looks like she's, she almost has the armlet available on her. She's actually. I mean, armlet and blink dagger at 21 minutes isn't the best farm, but. Eh, I don't know, I'm surprised she didn't just stop for a power twist at some point. Still, Armors is a great item, and Lich has been carrying two wards for quite some time, in my opinion. Oscar also going to go for that Armlet pickup. And Amina is here. Does Can you get anything? Oh, Timber Steers actually don't latch. Uh, should latch on the second one, though. Heal comes out. Can they get anything? A Shackle Shot. Oh, Shackle Shot probably. Look at how lined up they were. Perfect line, but doesn't matter because Huskar can just burn them down to death and Duel comes out last second gets them the kill beautiful damage coming out for the Legion commander Ahmed now finally available on the Huskar but meanwhile though what's uh, what's PL been doing he finally has this diffuse blade and band of elven skin is it gonna be a Sanj and Yasha or as they call it Sangi and Yasha we'll have to wait and see experience a 3k advantage for the radiant not a huge deal Gold about 1.8k, so they're doing so they're slightly ahead, but it's does it's not like a huge lead for them. Top lane, we have engagement here. Huge jump, oh, actually, wow, throws her in the air, no problem. Oh dear, she actually she was able to dodge, and in the end, Lena does get, secure the kill with the Laguna Blade. Didn't really, I don't really feel like they needed to use the Yule Scepter, but you have an item, you might as well use it, I guess. Agent Commander. A bit of hot soup, as they say. Crasher trying to go after her, but I don't really know if he's going to be able to get it. Yeah, it looks like she'll be fine. Oh, by the way, uh, one of the things about, diffu about uh, Diffuse Blade on PL is that it does, is it able to remove Repel. If someone's Repel, you just cast it. You just use Diffuse Blade on it, and it can be purged off, just like it says here in the I I skill description. And Omni is the one who's going to go for mech, instead of the... Lich, Lich, um, what's he gonna go for? Blade of Lacrity. If he's going for Agnims, this is the weirdest one to start with. Uh, I don't know if he is going for Agnims or not, but still, really odd to start with a Blade of Alacrity. 
How's Mirana doing? Mirana is, is going for Diffuser Blade, alright. And Lindridge is going for Agnims. Top lane? Am I gonna have a duel? Oh, maybe? Nope. Oh, there. Okay, duel does come out. Can she get the kill? She might have to consider throwing overwhelming odds to do some damage. But, wait, overwhelming odds? Nope. No, who cares about it? Armored toggling, trying her best. She's gonna need to. Oh, low. wow. Lina's finally here. Can they get the kill? They do. They are able to get the kill. No dual damage, but hey, a kill is a kill. You can't really complain too much about. 12 to 13 is the score. Not the highest kill game uh, I've ever cast, but still pretty good. PL, do, continue with his split push stuff. What's he going to go for? Oh, he's going to go for a Manta style. My God, how how could I not figure that? I should have been I was like, might be Yasha sign Yasha. No, no, it's, it's Manta style. Come on, obvious. Ascar. Surprisingly, he's carrying two iron branches, but no TP scroll. I find that to be somewhat odd. Mid lane, Lich. Is he gonna be okay? Nope, he's not. Unfortunate for him. But yeah, I'm. Li Lena actually is able to get the kill on the Miran. Yeah, where was I going to go with it? I had my, I had a train of thought. Earthshaker has the arcane boots, but still no link dagger. He hasn't actually contributed much in this game so far. Um, Vida poor Nerthulan. I think it's Peru against anti-Peru. Of course, this is probably what I'm. I'm sure this is what U.S. East or something. So that's why it's full of full of Peruvians and people who can't speak English. Because you know, the two matchmaking is is brilliant. Agent Commander. I like this word here. Really spots off anyone's coming or not. Oh, can they get the kill here? Uh, they, they, not Lena's kind of confused by life. For a second, it just kind of stands there. Shack shot comes out, almost latches, and Lena t loses half her life. Oh my god, looks like we had a massive engagement somewhere. What the hell? And uh, looks like Timber saw and Huskar just went at it in the forest. That Radiant, sorry, uh, Radiant, yeah, are pushing into close to the enemy base though. They've lost a lot of towers. The Dire Loves, actually, they lost three towers and they took three towers as well. So we're three for three. Uh, hmm. Thank you. Uh, I'll try. I'll try to talk a bit smoother. I'm sorry. Yeah, the dire side is gonna have a problem with this because the range are just pushing in bottom all the time. The split push is really difficult for them to deal with, and they don't really have anything that's able to clear out the split push too well. I mean, they do have the Lena who has some AOE. The Legion Commander also brings it with her overwhelming odds, but in general, it feels like they're not that great against a split push lineup. And when you look at the dire lineup, what exactly are they good for? It, I'd say probably team fighting would be their strongest asset. And yet they haven't really gotten that much kills. Lina actually in a bit of trouble. Omni Knight? Wow, okay. Maybe could have healed him? Uh, looks like he could have, I don't know. And it's actually scary that I think the I think in terms of levels, Lich is actually the yep, he's almost number one this, his team's level thirteen. Alright, can they get the kill on this? Timber saw it doesn't have actually anything to actually chain to, and what? No fire spears come. Oh, there we go. Fire spears finally coming out now, and Timber saw starting to burn a little. He does throw out that shotgun, which may not have been the best. And burning here. Is he gonna fall? No, it looks like he's gonna be okay. That reactive armor regen is so good. Uh, duel comes out. Maybe um, it will be it will be pretty difficult for them to get a kill. They do that kill from Omni Knight, give him that, giving him the hammer. Good job by him. They lose the Lina. Oh wait, they're going to go for the Wind Ranger. Wind Ranger is still being slowed quite a lot. They, the Chakum comes out, and oh, he needs to be careful how he does this. Nice Chain Frost coming out. Beautiful Chain Frost. Is, needs one more bounce. L Lich, just so close. One more hit. There we go. Uh, should be no. He actually dodged the thanks to the Wind Wind Run. And nice repel by the Army Knight to prevent the, the the PL. PL doesn't actually have enough mana, so that's one thing he, 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 they should be worried about. But it doesn't matter because Omni Knight's still going to fall. Not enough mana for his ultimate, and he's going to die. In s and yep, you can see that the, that the Phantom Lass is affected by the magic weakness. I Again, I'm not sure if he can defuse a Purge it off or not, but they, the one that's running, go for the one that's running! Oh dear, it's going to make it out alive. Beautiful Fisher keeping them alive. Yeah, good job by them. How's Legion Commander doing? Legion Commander... He has the DD ruin, and oh dear, shackle shot comes out. She is shackle shackle shotted. Is that would that be how it's described? And uh, she's uh, uh, under the effects of windrush. She's not taking so much damage. And Lina still throws out the lagoon blade, but it's not going to be enough. And actually, will they be able, able to even get this kill at all? Legion commander now shackle shot. I think 
Echo Slam was even committed. I'm not really sure if they wanted to be to. That was a good use of the Echo Slam, but all right, that's that happened. Still no blink dagger on the Urshaka. At almost 30 minutes, he should have a mechanism. Finally, up on the Omnet. I think one of the good things about mechanism of the Omnet is that it has more range than the than the purification. At the very least, purification takes like 0.75 of a second to throw out because Omnet has such a long cast animation whereas at least mechanism is instant so well that's an advantage anti peru still building that diffuse blade another th uh, another good choice for her of course is diffuse blade because you can like we said remove repel i don't know if it's if you can diffuse if you can purge off the diff the veil or not but it is something to work with mm. overall though net worth just feels like we have PL at 12.5k and the nearest person on Dire is 8k so PL is 50% ahead of the closest Dire hero and that's really scary I mean PL is a hero that is once he's ahead he's really hard to bring down what's he gonna go for? Mantisalia probably Heart afterwards would be a good choice uh, Radiance is something to consider on PL because you get that evasion all your illusions have the burn effect so all of them affect the enemies with uh, mischance and also it just helps out so much in the split push your illusions will split push a lot better if they have radiance on it but generally speaking at this point I doubt he's gonna go for radiance probably heart after manta style would be standard warding pretty good actually from the radiance side one here one here oh do we have engagement repel comes up I feel like you don't really want to repel Huskar he's kinda magic immune as it is oh dear okay nice he actually drops only the an observer ward, no sentries. Needs okay, there we go. Sentry ward is available. Wait, gonna de ward it now. Dire have of this very aggressive ward. Arrow comes out, it's gonna hit. Beautiful threads of the needle, and well, they're a bit too far if they want to go close. Looks like Wind Ranger wants to go for that crit. They are gonna jump on the Wind Ranger. They need to be very careful. He, is, he does stop to take away that observer ward, and Fissure kind of blocking the T uh, the um, Ahmed from his team, but it's okay, he's just gonna go for them. It's everyone's here from the from the die. Oh, another arrow on the one guy who should be out. But beautiful, overwhelming odds actually purging it off. Nice job. He gets hit by the shackle. They really want to focus this on He goes and uses his ultimate on just himself. You have the arcane boost. You have the oh no, this is a, doesn't actually use his mana items. And uh, ultimate coming out from the list, jumping out, but it's not gonna jump too much. Dual finally comes out on the wind range, but they don't have a anything that pierces her wind run. And Laguna Blade comes out, but it's not gonna be enough. Echo, uh, Echo slam, huge Echo slam on pretty much everyone, and it's gonna be a team one for the radiant side dire just lose everyone over there man that was that was not how it should have went a lot of that i mean i was praising army throughout the whole game but he did he had arcane boots as soul ring but he didn't use them so he lost all of his mana i didn't just recover it in any way soul ring and arcane boots arcane boots doesn't, requ doesn't require any mana uses anymore so didn't have didn't use his mech either just got caught out by a couple of arrows Legion Command a really good move with the overwhelming odds. So I no, no, press the attack to keep him going, but it wasn't really enough. And they're just going to go push the high ground. Are they going to be able to get anything out of it? We'll have to find out. Meanwhile, Earthshaker is top lane, trying to control the creep wave. I'm surprised he's going for only two points in Aftershock. I feel like Aftershock is a really good skill you want to max out. Dire side, can they stop this push again? They really need to. They really need the overwhelming odds from the Legion Commander. They do have uh, Lena with her ability. Oh dear, Huskar jumping out. I don't really know if you want to be there. Huskar take a lot of damage. He's gonna fall. Uh, Lich doesn't have his abilities really. And Omnite Mech maybe? Nope. Mech still stunned. And what about Legion Commander? She's gonna go for this heal, heal, heal. Why do you repel him? He didn't repel him. He didn't even use the Mech. Oh my God. They are able to kill the Mirana, but they're gonna lose their whole team. Omni Knight really losing his edge at this point of the game and he's gonna fall oh dear looks so sad the way he falls and they should be able to get the the Raxus pretty easily Huskar buys back for some reason the the Radiant heroes are what the hell is Timbersaw doing dude stop smoking weed and just go help the team push they are able to get the melee racks Huskar jumps but yeah, it doesn't really matter and they're gonna try they're just gonna get the range react range react doesn't really matter if you get them or not because they don't really contribute so much to the push and generally speaking I mean they're gonna fall anyway they don't really reach and really weird play coming out from Timbersaw Timbersaw's 3 and I assume that he's the feeder that uh, PL is talking about because from the way he's playing he is playing kinda like 
kind of useless. I mean, the guy is three and nine. When they're pushing, he's doing. He's trying to do ancients. What's the point of that, really? At this point of the game, the four top people of net worth are all radiant heroes. That's some. That's a bit scary to deal with. The only person on the dire side who's even doing remotely well would be the Legion Commander. And well, actually, Lich is doing pretty well. If he gets Agonims, he might be able to turn this around. Not sure what this headdress is for, really. Where is he anyway? Yeah, what's the point of this headdress? It doesn't actually give them anything. They have a mech on the team. I don't think he's going to go for pipe. Might consider selling it, really. Just to help him get the items faster. Also, I like that no one on the dire team cares about TP scrolls. None. Yep, okay, Lena has a TP scroll, and that's about it. TP scrolls, they're just... Who wants to move fast, honestly? What's the point of moving fast? Lena? Does he want to go for Roshan? Then they're starting to make her Aghanim Scepter, but eh, she's about 1.3k gold away from it. That's not really close to getting it, really. Oh well. Timbersaw. Mirror Ultimate comes out. Mm, let's wait and see if they can be able to do anything with this Mirror Ultimate. Yeah, still. Uh, repel comes out. I feel like the the problem with the repel is that you can't heal through it. So he's throwing out a lot of these repels. Oh, Omni Knight, not the, really the guy that they need to keep alive. And Omni Knight, I don't. Nope, he's not gonna make that. Office. Not really sure they need the Echo Slam, but hey, why not? And the rest of the dire heroes are here. Can they go for it though? Oscar want, really wants this kill, but oh dear, he's just gonna fall. Didn't even use the armlet. And Lich is available. Lich throws out the, uh, his ultimate. Was it gonna be enough? Really? No, it's not gonna do any. Not gonna be enough to get any kill. Most of it bouncing to ancients anyway. And during all this time, where's Legion Command? She's top. Doesn't even have a TP scroll. That's she's. I think she's gonna go for Maelstrom. I mean, gloves of haste. Um, hey, it's not like not like your base is being pushed in. No, 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 no. You get that tower. That's what you need. The whole base is just being pushed in, and for some reason, Legion Command is still just split pushing top. I don't really know why she'd do that, but I, guests have arrived. Uh, Shackleshot doesn't actually latch, and uh, they're not going to be able to do anything against this Wind Ranger. Are the Rangers just going to go for the GG push? Uh, maybe. No? no? They can't get top because the tier 2 is still standing. So they're either going to go for the throne. Well, Miran is trying to get the throne. Uh, arrow comes out, misses. Not much use is coming out of the diffusal play. I mean, she only she still has seven charges. Phantom last still has seven. So I thought you know we'd see a lot of diffusal play. You know, using it on uh, people who were repelled. But generally speaking, it just has made a difference. Uh, and of course, you can also purge off the guardian angel. I like how they tell you from the start that this can be purged. This can be purged. Uh, it's it's basically screaming, get diffusal blade on your enemies. Uh, Timber saw, like I said, this guy's been smoking way too much weed. I mean, he's trying to hit the tower. He's not really doing anything. And he's probably just going to fall here. Or is he? That reactive armor, 20 charges, giving him so much regen. And Shack Shot comes out. They're going to lose the Huskar again. What's the, what's the Lich doing right now? I feel like if he had gone for Aghanims before Veil of Viscar, that would have been the better choice, honestly. Because Aghanims give you those that you know permanently bouncing semen, which is really good. Especially against all the women. But... Well, Discord is like, yeah, it's nice, especially against the PL, but PL has generally been so elusive. Oh, arrow comes out. Beautiful arrow. I'm not really sure how he was got hit by that. I mean, he saw the arrow coming. And, uh, well, this, the Raiden decided not to go further into this. Are they here? Maelstrom up on the Legion Commander. Mm. I'm not really sure how good that is going to be. Oh, Duel does come out. Can they get the kill on him? And he does have a heart. Whoa, beautiful jump. Well, actually, does, didn't jump that much. Can they get it? They do kill the, the PL, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. They are. They lose the, everyone else, it seems like. Huge Echo Slam came out, and four people are dead. Huskar finally joining the fight, but... I mean, they they lost the PL, but... <sighs> the Dire got what? Easy bait? I'm pretty sure that wasn't even a bait. But if you, if you want to spin it into a bait, that's fine. That's fine with me. Alright, looks like this game is going to wind up. I'm going to go check Reddit for another game s uh, after this. Uh, if you guys have any sort of advice about how to improve casting, because, I mean, I've cast a lot of games, but I still know that uh, there's a lot for me to work on. One of the things I feel like I'm worst at is that I, send it, I start speaking without knowing the end of my sentence. I feel like that's one of my biggest weaknesses. But if you guys have any advice that would help, that would be great. Aside from that, that is. Arrow comes out. Uh, does dodge it. Uh, also, if you guys consider... 
Uh, he's just gonna follow. If you guys consider following me on Twitch, I'm not really too concerned about. But YouTube would be better actually because I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. I'm gonna have a giveaway at 100 subscribers, so I'd love love it if you guys could help me out there. Looks like oh wait, someone has a little uh, scepter comes out. Not gonna do too much. Timber saw surprisingly thank you against uh, find a pretend to to pretend the answer. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, looks like. We're they are going to get a kill on the Timber Saw. doesn't matter. Game is over. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go try to find another game now. And, uh, yeah, stay here if you guys like the cast.